Hi crayons! Welcome to our online Sunday school. I'm Akirafa and again, welcome, welcome. So, ready na ba kayo to sing and dance? To hear the word? And, of course, to memorize the memory verse and to do some craft? If you are ready, so, bago yun, magpipain mo na tayo. Larry, thank you for this day. Thank you for everyone that will participate sa gagawin namin ngayon. And I pray na marami kaming matututunan. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, let's start!
Hello kids, happy Sunday. Today is a blessed day where we can worship God and listen to His Word together. Uh, every day we can read God's Word by reading our Bible and we can listen to His instruction through our prayer as well. But today is a blessed day. It's a regular day where we can join together with other believers who hear the Word of God together. So before we listen to the story for today, uh, this is a story that leads up to the crucifixion of Jesus. So this is what we actually commemorate or try to remember during Holy Week. Diba? Last, last Sunday or last, last week, we uh, just uh, remembered the Holy Week, the days that led up to Jesus' crucifixion. First, let me read to you John chapter 3, verse 16. It says there, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So today, I want to share with you the story that led up to the crucifixion of Jesus. So um, I will be reading to you the story. This will be uh, like a story reading and I hope you can understand what um, what were the events that happened during the time that Jesus was about to be crucified. There are four questions that we want to ask ourselves. What are some of the things that the people did to Jesus? What did... Uh, what did the people say about Jesus or what did um, the sign that was written on top of the cross say about Jesus? What did the people do to his clothes? And why do you think Jesus allowed the people to crucify? So, sino sa in your children, you have seen people suffer in front of you. Did you know that Jesus experienced uh, people suffering uh, in front of him during the time of his ministry. He saw people who got uh, who are sick and then he gave his time to heal them, to pray for them. Diba? Yung mga tao na nagugutom, pinakain niya. Yung mga tao na nanghihina ay uh, ginamit siya ni, uh, ni Lord God the Father to be a blessing to them, to encourage them to heal the sick, to raise the dead, and so many other miracles because during the time that they were suffering. But did you know, children, that during the time that he was already suffering, so many people rejected him, mocked him, hurt him. And here, in the time that he was already handed over to Pilate, Pilate, one of the highest officials who is in charge of crucifixion, it's, uh, I will read to you the story. So look at the picture and listen to the story carefully. Are you ready? All right. So, and Pilate went out to the Jewish leaders and said, Look, I am bringing Jesus to you so you know I find no reason of accusation against him. So Jesus came outside wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said, Look, here is the man. When the chief priests and the officers saw him, they shouted out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said, You take him and crucify him. Certainly I find no reason of accusation against him. The Jewish leaders replied, We have a law according to our law. He ought to die because he claimed to be the Son of God. When Pilate heard what he said, he was more afraid than ever. He went back to the governor's residence and said to Jesus, Where do you come from? But Jesus gave him no answer. So Pilate said, You refuse to speak to me? Don't you know I have the authority to crucify you? Jesus replied, You would have no authority over me unless it is from above. Uh, from above. For the one who handed me over to you is guilty of greater sin. From this point, Pilate tried to release him, but the Jewish leader shouted out, if you release this man, you are no friend of Caesar. 
Everyone who claimed to be a king opposes Caesar. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus outside and sat down on the judgment seat in the place called the Stone Pavement or Golgotha in Aramaic. Pilate said, Look, here is your king. When Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but instead a riot was starting, he took some water, washed his hands before the crowd and said, I am innocent of this man's blood. You take of it. Take care of it yourselves. In reply, the people said, let his blood be on us and on our children. Then Pilate released Barabbas for them. But after he had Jesus flogged, he handed him over to be crucified. Now, they are on the way to the place called Golgotha. So you will look here, you will see all the people that were uh, 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 accompanying those who are going to be crucified in the place called Golgotha, the place of the skull. So this is the place where all the skulls or the yung mga bungo ng mga tao ay nilalagay uh, mga pat, ng mga patay. So this is where they are so they, uh, the, the place is called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. They offered Jesus wine mixed with God to drink, but after tasting it, he would not drink it. They crucified him there along with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And then they, they uh, took his clothes from here and uh, the, so, uh, they took his clothes, dividing them into four shares, one for each of them with the undergarment remaining. This garment was seamless woven in one piece from top to bottom. Let's not tear it, they said to one another. Let's decide by life who will get it. This happened that the scripture might be fulfilled and said, they divided my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. So this is what the soldiers did. See, they uh, rolled the dice and cast lots for the clothes. We will get it. Near the cross, Jesus of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, he said, Here is your mother. From that time on, the disciple took her into his home. So uh, when Jesus was dying, he uh, instructed the disciple to take care of his the death of Jesus. Now we will see, um, we will uh, hear about the part when Jesus was dying. Later, knowing that everything had now been finished and so that the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there. So they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on the stalk of the hyssop plant and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had finished drinking, he said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. So here, this is the story about how Jesus was crucified. What are some of the things that the people did to Jesus? Can you give your answer to your teacher now? Okay, that's correct. The people wanted him to be crucified even the chief priests and the leaders wanted him to be punished correct what else did they do they mocked him and they didn't uh fight for him they by even Pilate himself he he know that jesus was innocent but still he could not stop or he didn't do anything to stop the people from crucifying jesus or from allowing jesus to be killed what did the sign say about Jesus? Let's look at the sign. Look at the picture. It says here, okay, it is written in 
another language, their language, maybe it's Greek or Hebrew ba ka? Ayan. So it says there, uh, it says in John chapter 19, what is written, read, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Okay. What what did the people or the soldiers do to Jesus' food? Correct. They divided it among themselves. Why do you think Jesus allowed the people to crucify? Okay, let's go back to our verse. It says in John chapter 3, verse 16, it's your memory verse. It says there, For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So do you know that God loves us so much that he allowed Jesus to suffer for the sake of the forgiveness of our sins? The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. It says in Romans 6.23 that all, have, uh, all of us deserve death to pay for our sins. But you know that Jesus took that punishment. He allowed himself to be crucified so that he could die for the payment of our sins. Diba children, alam natin na yung kabayaran na ginawa ni Jesus on the cross for our sins is the way the way that brought us back to God the Father. So paano nangyari yon? Jesus Christ, sabi ng Bible, dahil sa love ni God binigay niya si Jesus Christ, his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So what does the dying on the cross means for the people that God loves, which is us. Number one is that we have been redeemed. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng we have been redeemed? Jesus already paid for our sins and bought us back from darkness into light, from Satan's kingdom into God's kingdom. Okay, that's correct. Number two, we are, we have been renewed. No? Through the blood of Jesus, yung mga pinalo sa kanya, mga sugat na, uh, pati yung crown of thorns, lahat ng dugo na dumanak doon through the blood of Jesus, we have been renewed. Meron tayong nararanasan na pagbabago sa buhay natin. God is renewing our life when we believe in Him. So He allows us to be changed and transformed from our sin. So pangatlo, we are redeemed, we are renewed through the crucifixion of the cross. And number three, we by the blood of Jesus, we are restored. So pag sinabi natin we are restored, ibig sabihin, yung nawala sa ating blessing because of our sins, nawala sa ating uh, protection and provision ni Lord, binabalik niya yun sa atin. Dahil sa ginawa niya sa cross, nagkaroon tayo ng chance na matanggap muli yung plano ni God para sa atin. Yung great blessing na meron si God para sa atin. So children, let me just uh, ask you to repeat with me the three things that happened because of the blood of Jesus or because of the crucifixion of Jesus. So wait for me, I'll show it to you. Okay, children, repeat after me, okay? So, I'll try to show it in the screen. What the blood of Jesus does for all of us who accepted Him as our personal Lord and Savior. Okay, repeat after me. By the blood of Jesus, 
I am redeemed. Okay. Ulitin natin. By the blood of Jesus, I am redeemed. By the blood of Jesus, I am restored. By the blood of Jesus, I am renewed. Because I walk in the light and I have fellowship with other believers, the blood of Jesus now cleanses me uh, cleanses me from my sin. Okay? And continually from my sin. So, God cleanses us now and continually from our sin because of our fellowship with one another and because we walk in the light of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, thank you for this morning. Thank you for redeeming us, renewing us, and restoring us through the blood of Jesus. We know that the sacrifice that you did for us is very difficult and very painful, especially painful to your heart because the people you saved, the people you helped, the people you rescued are the ones who handed you over to be crucified. We pray that we will be able to live each day loving you just how you love us. We love you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And children, so don't forget that Sabi ng Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God in Christ Jesus our Lord is eternal life. And sabi sa John 3.16, Because of His great love for us, we are able to receive eternal life by believing in Jesus. Happy Sunday! God bless you! Hi kids. Hi kids! I am Kuya Wancho. And I am Manwa. Manuel, did you know that God gave us His only Son to save the world? Yes, I do. At, at, and He said, John 3, 16, For God, is so, for God so loved the world that He gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him not, shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3 to 6. That is correct. So, let us memorize this verse one last time. John 3, 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His own one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3 verse 16 Bye kids! Hi. I hope you memorize this memory verse and share it to your friends or family. Bye! See you again next time! Bye.
watch the darkness turn and run Faith arise, we've overcome There's power in the praise of Jesus Watch this shot Yon. Thank you, thank you everyone for participating sa Sunday School natin ngayon and see you again next Sunday! Bye!